Hello. Meat. I'm sure most of us here have eaten some form of meat, whether it be sausages, burgers, or steak. But while doing so, we don't realize how much of an effect that meat has on our health as well as our environment. Too much meat consumption leads to high cholesterol, which is one of the big reasons people get heart disease. What does heart disease do to you? Well, first, when your body digests red meat, specifically the carnitine and the choline, it produces a substance called TMAO. This substance then damages the foam cells in your blood vessels, which will lead to a cholesterol plaque rupturing and blocking your blood vessels, so ultimately obstructing your blood flow. A study conducted in 2002 to 2013 shows that a vegetarian diet can decrease your risk of getting heart disease by up to 32%. But some people say that vegetarian or plant-based diets don't give you the same nutrients that you get from eating meat. But by choosing the right foods, like avocados for fats or potatoes for iron, both diets give you the same amount of nutrients, while, but plant-based diets still give you uh, decrease your risk of getting heart disease. Another problem with meat consumption is that the production of meat itself emits a lot of greenhouse gases. According to the UN, it contributes up to 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions, mainly due to animal byproducts as well as deforestation for grazing land. For example, the Amazon forest has produced 20% more carbon dioxide than it has absorbed over the past decade, mainly due to deforestation for animals grazing land. And due to this, Amazon, Brazil's Amazon is no longer a net absorber, but a net emitter of greenhouse gases. But some people say that eating meat is natural. And while it may be natural, is natural always best? Meat consumption has increased by 58% between 1998 and 2018. We as a species need to grow out of eating too much meat. And, and we need to find alternatives to stop the increase. Fortunately for us, there are many alternatives some of them being plant-based as well as cell-based meats. Firstly, plant-based meats. What are they? Plant-based meats are basically meat without meat. They're made to replicate the taste, texture, as well as amount of nutrients found in real meat. They're made from many different ingredients, the main one being heme which is a substance found in hemoglobin and is necessary to bind oxygen in your blood flow. But people say it's responsible for making meat taste like meat. Another example is that the Impossible Burger. It has been made and sold in many different grocery stores and restaurants and in some regions you can stop by a near Burger King and find the Impossible Whopper. Oh. Moving on, cell-based meats. They are meat without the animal sacrifice. They are made through the process of biofabrication, which takes animal cells and turns them into real animal products like meat or leather. For example, if we're making leather, we start by taking the cells from a cow. We grow the cells from millions into billions of them. We then make sheets with these cells by coaxing them to produce collagen, which will end up connecting them. Layer the sheets, combine the layers, and tan them, and we have leather. Andres Korgax did a talk on biofabrication on how his father and him started a company on cell-based products and how they made cell-based leather in 2013. He also talked about how biofabrication allows them to change many different 
qualities of the product, like the thinness or the thickness of leather. And you can even change the pattern and much more. Not only are these alternatives helping us with health and environmental issues, but there are also more civilized ways of getting materials for stuff like burgers or handbags. With these alternatives in mind, we can imagine a world without the animal sacrifice for the food we eat. Meat production will no longer look like this, where cows are hung and killed for their leather and meat, but something more like this, where we have facilities like breweries, which can act as bioreactors, where we can make cell-based meat. Or something like this, where we have laboratories making plant-based meats. Now, I'm not telling you to stop eating meat, but to be more conscious and aware of what you're eating and how that affects your health as well as the environment around you. Thank you. <laughs>